Louisiana State Police today say that Galvin Long came here with the intent to kill as many officers as he could, turning these businesses into his battleground. This ambush begins with Gavin Long driving the Chevy Malibu he rented in Missouri. Just after 8.30 in the morning, he pulled into this beauty supply store. Cameras capture him as he paces back and forth. He spots a sheriff deputy car parked right in front of the convenience store. He walks right up to it. The cruiser is empty, so he walks back to his car. And he drives off back on Airline Highway, which is a major road here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He passes right here and notices a police officer vacuuming his car. He pulls into the fitness center. He gets out, but by that time, the officer's gone. So he starts walking the perimeter of this convenience store as well as the beauty supply store. By now, someone has already called 911 and officers are on their way. Before you know it, a gun battle breaks out in this alleyway. In the firefight, Long murders Baton Rouge police officers Montrell Jackson, Michael Gerald, and Sheriff Deputy Brad Garifolda. The deputy had just left his cover to check on the two officers. I saw my baby boy laying on that slab in the coroner's office. I, had, I looked at that and I know he didn't deserve it, but I know he died. For a cause, doing what he loved. Long's reign of terror ends when more backup arrives. The suspect standing right where you're at, the kill shot taken right where I'm standing by a member of the Baton Rouge SWAT team. The distance almost a football field. Now, before SWAT took him down, Long wounded two deputies. One was shot in the head and stomach. He remains in critical condition at the hospital. A bullet shattered the arm of the other deputy. He is expected to be okay. Reporting live tonight in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.